Hello, hello, hello. We are back with The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Part... I do believe this is Part 7. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, let's get started. In 3, 2, 1... This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She deluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. We're having so much fun cleaning him. Hmm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? <laughs> In that chair. Tetwin, we shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. Yeah, General, I, I am I've not certain this is the appropriate questions. time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, which, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth unknown, parents unknown, age unknown, all insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one, Arian. Okay, so I'm guessing these are events that happen in The Witcher 2, maybe. So you get to choose whether you killed him or spared his life. Foltest ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on you? Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to you? An assassin of kings. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Virgo. My question is how? I left Flotsam with Yorvith, commander of a Squirtel unit. A slayer of monsters and a slayer of men. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall <laughs> shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Mui. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the Mighty. The Mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. 
ought to know I care about her, and I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. <sighs> An old acquaintance, more like. Not so close that I felt bad for her, but close enough that I knew she deserved it. He believes he alone knows what is good and what is evil. And that this gives him the right to dispense justice. Your comrade Letho of Gullet described you so. Quite accurate, I'd say. My comrade, your agent. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please. Affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. I don't like you. You make me wear bad clothes. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Well, hold on there. Okay. Let's see now. I'm just gonna switch up things. Oh, we got a mutant gin. Mutant gin. Mutant gin. Whatever. Never mind. I thought it was different. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. Mm -hmm. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's <laughs> complexion is light enough. 
The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north Actually and south. Actually considering putting powder. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Please, this is neither the time nor the place for such antics. The gentleman will watch carefully. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Here we go. In Grimmy et Art Kerzer. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var Emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. A valiant name, but gun for what? Seems more like his character not to bow. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. She looks so happy in you that picture. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My core of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Yay, we get to see Yennefer again. Mm -hmm. If I... Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax, nothing happened. To the gentleman? But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. And it's past noon. Do not be <laughs> etiquette for one day. Sorry, buddy. Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herevard the second, Prince of Herlanda. Not only am I yeah. going to wait here like a ah, supplicant. Rad sliden er enekt, es tun es saur am nevard. Es ist hier efsa, efsa nein ma... Er ist so hart, es ma ist der Weg. Nien te mir, Deitra.
Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I am at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look. That's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up? It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't? Not a bit? <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the Wild Hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe, before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. So where's Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors, but there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. It was...
Well, okay, that's going to do it for this episode, so see you all on the next video. Not physically, but um, you get the idea.